Well, Telangana leaders cutting across party lines are upset with the Andhra Pradesh governor for what uh, they believe is an anti-Telangana line. Now, even as they have uh, given a call for a two-day bund in Telangana starting today, their worry, however, is that the agitations that threaten law and order could mean playing into the governor's hands as there is a danger that the president's rule could be imposed. <laughs> Andhra Pradesh Governor ESL Narsimhan is the man Telangana leaders are gunning for. Cutting across party lines, politicians from the region are accusing Narsimhan of being anti-Telangana and of sending reports that show the agitation in a poor light to the centre. He is anti-Telangana. He had given a report to the central government and to the Sri Krishna committee that formation of Telangana would not be good. Governor Vidhanalne, Ezeite Rechagote Advanti Vaikar Avalambi Stavonado, Apahasyan Jaisavonado, while the governor was visibly upset at the conduct of the TRS and TDP MLAs during his address to the Andhra Pradesh Assembly and Council on the opening day of the budget session last week, TRS MLAs accused him of using unparliamentary language. Disturbing the governor's speech, and uh, assembly proceedings, this is not going to solve the problem of the, 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 what they are, what they wanted to say, send the message to the people. That will go wrong signals. With parts of the Telangana region, including Hyderabad, witnessing trouble ahead of the two-day Telangana Panth on Tuesday and Wednesday, Telangana voters fear a total breakdown of law and order could prove counterproductive as it would then put the state under President's rule and Governor Narsimhan. In Hyderabad, TS Sudhir, NDTV.